Now for this first part, we're asked to differentiate with respect to x, x squared natural log of 3x. Now to do something like this, what I would normally do is first of all define this as say y. So I'm going to say let y equal this and then it gives me a reason for saying dy dx. Okay, so to differentiate this, therefore dy dx, how am I going to do it? Well, what we've got here is essentially two parts being multiplied together, two functions of x. We've got this x squared and we've got this natural log of 3x. And we should know that when we get two functions of x like this multiplied together, that to differentiate it, we need to use the product rule for differentiation. And the product rule, if you're unsure of it, and I've got tutorials on this anyway, if you go on my website, you'll notice that if you've got y equals two functions of x, let's say uv, dy dx equals u times dv dx plus v du dx. Essentially, all you need to do is take one part, say the red part, multiply it by the differential of the green part here, and then you do it the other way around. Plus, take the green part and times it by the differential of the red part. So I'm going to go straight into this then, okay? So for the first bit then, we take the red part, x squared, and always put these things in brackets, these parts, okay? So you don't end up writing any ambiguous statements. We can always clean up later on. Okay, so I've done the red part, now I've got to multiply it by the differential of this green part, the natural log of 3x. And to do this, we need to use the chain rule. But you should be able to do it straight off. Now, at the end of the tutorial here, or this video, what I'm going to do is, in case you're unsure of what I'm doing, I'll do it in a bit more detail for you. But essentially, this is what I would do. I would nominate the 3x to be t, so I've got the natural log of t, and if I differentiate the natural log of t, I get 1 over t. But t is the 3x, so it's going to be 1 over 3x. And then I need to multiply this by the differential of t, t being the 3x. And if I differentiate that bit with respect to x, I get simply 3. So this is the differential then of the natural log of 3x by the chain rule. Now, if you're unsure of this, I, as I say, I will run through this at the um, end of the video here, or you might want to fast forward it to the end just to get an explanation. But okay, that's the first part, this part here. Now we do it the other way around. Plus, we take the green part here, natural log of 3x, and again, put this in brackets, so I'm going to put that up to square bracket, so we don't end up writing ambiguous statements. And now we times it by the differential of the red part here, x squared. And the differential of that is 2x. So that's it essentially done. We just need to simplify it now. And we can do a bit of cancelling here. We can see that, for instance, that 3 cancels into that 3. And this x here cancels into the x squared, leaving us with x. So what we end up with is that this is equal to just simply this x here, and then plus, and for this one, we just write the 2x before the natural log of x, and we can release that bracket around the natural log of 3x. 2x natural log then of 3x. And there you go. That would be my answer then. That's how I would do this, how I'd set it out essentially. But I did say that if you're struggling with differentiating the natural log of 3x, I'd run through it with you. So suppose we had y equals the natural log of 3x to differentiate. We need to use this thing called the chain rule. And the chain rule is this basically, that if we want to find dy by dx, it's the same as doing dy by d something times the same d something by dx. And that d something that I'm going to use is t. 
okay it's as if these cancel out just leaving me with dy over dx and so if I've got y equals the natural log of 3x to differentiate what I do is I call this 3x t we let t equal the 3x so therefore I've got y equals the natural log of t and so to find dy by dx to differentiate in other words the natural log of 3x I do dy by dt first of all dy by dt then is going to be equal to 1 over t if you differentiate the log the natural log of uh, of x it'll be 1 over x if it's the natural log of t it's 1 over t so it'll be 1 divided by t but t was 3x okay so that is essentially dy by dt now we have to multiply it by dt by dx and if you differentiate t with respect to x you get 3 okay and that's how I arrived at this result here it essentially cancels down to 1 over x again all right as we saw here but uh, anyway there you go there's the chain rule that I used in this part